There are more questions this morning surrounding that mysterious disappearance of a group of teenagers from a New Mexico ranch for at-risk youth. Some of the teens are back home with their parents this morning, but not all. And as investigators look for those other missing teens, there are troubling allegations of abuse at the ranch, raising new questions. Kristen Dahlgren is live outside of that ranch in New Mexico with more this morning. Kristen, good morning. Good morning, Erica. It appears the teens are slowly being returned to their families, but investigators are still very concerned. This is remote New Mexico. We are about three hours south of Albuquerque. Not much out here, but normally teens are living at this 30,000 acre ranch. On Friday, though, when authorities got here, it was completely abandoned. Tierra Blanca Ranch, a sprawling home for troubled youth, built on its website as a haven for those at risk. We'll work with you and, you know, we make you part of our family. This morning, the focus of a search and investigation after nine boys were reported missing on Friday. When you suddenly show up to the place and everybody's gone, it's a huge concern to us. Authorities issued an amber alert for the teens aged between 13 and 17, fearing they might be in danger. Ranch owner Scott Chandler was also gone. At least four boys were returned to their family Saturday. But as the search by air and land of the massive 30,000 acre ranch continues, more questions are surfacing about just what took place here. Authorities went to the ranch to execute a search warrant and court order to return the boys to their parents after years of abuse allegations. Chandler was recently the focus of an investigation by KOB reporter Chris Ramirez. They were tortured, they were beat, they were shackled, they were deprived of food, they were threatened that they would be castrated if they didn't complete all the work. Ryan Morgan was too emotional to tell the story of his alleged beating, so his friend did. Knuckling him right in the forehead just repetitively and started just over the forehead. Mark Fleming lived at the ranch for two years and sat down with NBC News on Saturday. There were kids that had to be in handcuffs and shackles the, throughout the entire day and while they were sleeping. Barbara Holler sent her son there for treatment, a decision she now regrets. Because, you know, you go out as a parent to do the best thing for your kid and it turns up and blows up in your face. Everybody wants to Chandler make... vehemently denies the charges. He says he's suing New Mexico's Child Services Department to try to halt its interference. But on Thursday, before he disappeared, he wouldn't answer questions about the alleged abuse. It's all being very exaggerated and blown out of proportion. Now, a lawyer for Chandler has said that the teens are safe and insists that they were on a regularly scheduled outing. Some former residents here have also come out in support of Chandler, saying that this place changed their life. One even saying that he would trust Scott Chandler to hold him off the Empire State Building, Erica. Wow, quite a declaration there. All right, Kristen Dahlgren, thank you.